Hey, BK here with BK and Understanding for another vlog entry. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And give a like on this video, hit the notification bell, do those helpful things. Um, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers so we can monetize the channel and bring some much needed uh, financial uh, you know, support to the BK and Understanding uh, uh, project. And uh, if you haven't checked out our Bandcamp page, please do that. Um, that's the best way to support us uh, in the moment, is to uh, go to our Bandcamp page and buy our digital albums from us. Um, that uh, goes directly to us, and uh, it's a good way to, to support us. And uh, if any local bands in your area have a Bandcamp page, I recommend you check that out too. But uh, anyway, um, hope you're doing well today. Um, I'm just up having my morning coffee on Monday, uh, December, let's take a look, December 6th. Um, and I uh, just thought I'd do another one of these because it's been a couple weeks since I put one up. And, uh, sorry, dog's knocking my tripod around. Um, and so, just real quickly, uh, today's vlog will be really short. Um, just wanted to, to explain why I've been MIA. <coughs> Excuse me. That cough is an example of one reason. <clears throat> anyway, um, so you know, a couple weeks ago was Thanksgiving break, and so I just wasn't able to sit down and get out of camera and lights and uh, have time to do any vlogs that week. And um, you know, so I was busy all Thanksgiving break, and then after that, I got sick. <laughs> um, and uh, what's funny is uh, I did get a booster shot. Um, and I was I was getting congestion before that, and I got the booster shot, and it cleared it up for a couple of days. Now, the booster shot caused uh, me to have a fever that night. I went to bed with the fever, but I woke up feeling great the next day. Um, so the fever didn't even hit. You know, I got my booster in the morning, and it didn't even hit until like you know 10 or 12 hours later. And then I felt like I had a fever. You know, like when you're coming down with the flu or a cold. And went to bed, you know, took some time, I went to bed and woke up feeling great the next day. And so for a couple of days, all my uh, congestion went away, I guess because my body overcompensated, and then it came back. And so this past previous week, I was down. Uh, I don't think I ever had a fever again after the, the booster shot, but I think my congestion had to do with some kind of sinus infection or something. So last week, I lost my voice uh, for a few days and... Like, it would just come out like this, and all broken up. It would sound up kind of like, you know, what's pretty common whenever you get congested and it's draining. And I still have a little bit, and you might be able to hear it. But uh, that's why I hadn't been on the vlog in a couple weeks. And then also I hadn't gone out to any music shows. Uh, last vlog, I showed you clips from a friend Kevin's uh, performance at Waco L Company. And, uh, you know, just really shared a good time I had. That's, that's ultimately what I want to do. I really had enjoyed hanging out with Kevin and my friend Will. Um, at Waco L Company and some other people and then you know I had fun playing with the camera and uh, it was just good memories for me and, and those of us who were there and so I shared that stuff with you and hope you enjoyed it if you watched it and thank you for those of you who have been watching stuff um, I'm gonna keep this as faithful as I can there will be periods of time obviously where I won't be able to make stuff especially you know when I am going out and playing shows that will take priority if I'm working on new material that will, you know, for the the music itself, that will take priority. There's other things that will take priority over the vlog, but I do attempt, uh, I do intend to keep it as regular as I can. Um, I really love YouTube. I watch YouTube all the time. Um, that's how, at night, if you know, I'm not working on something, or if I have time before bed to wind down, a lot of times I'll turn YouTube on and just veg out, and watch random videos. Um, I do watch a ton of ASMR when I'm ready to go to bed. It, I, I stumbled across it maybe a year ago. I didn't even know what it was. <clears throat> like YouTube recommended one. It was like a librarian ASMR video, and I and it just it caught my eye. And I was like, "What is this?" So I watched it, and uh, it got the whole brain tingles, and it was like really relaxed. And I was like, "Whoa, that's kind of cool." So I started looking up ASMR stuff. So I watch a lot of ASMR when I'm actually ready to go to bed. And then I also watch like a lot of video game YouTubers like Metal Jesus Rocks. 
Um, I, I watch his stuff, uh, the, the uh, immortal John Hancock, uh, Reggie, you know, some of these people who are part of Metal Jesus' crew. And then uh, closer to where I live, old beat em ups Watch almost every one of his. We miss some of them, uh, but try to watch as many of his as I can. Big fan of beat em ups so Woodhawker there. I watch some of those, and then we'll, we, uh, I like to watch Kill em from uh, England. Uh, he's a pretty funny guy. He does I don't know. He, he's I think he does a good job of making you feel like uh, you know him, even though you don't. You know it. But that's kind of what's cool about YouTube. It's uh, not as much of production as Hollywood stuff, so it does make it feel more intimate in a way. Like you know, you don't literally know the people on the channels, but it feels more personal, like you almost do because of the do-it-yourself aspects of it. A lot of times. And that being said, YouTube, I've noticed since it launched, uh, the production com uh, quality has gone up. So it is harder for people like me to get in there because obviously I'm doing it old school. Like literally, it's just me, a camera, and minimal experience in uh, Final Cut Pro X, you know. But anyway, all that being said, uh, I love YouTube. There's a lot of people I watch on YouTube. And uh, I do watch a lot of music vlogs as well, too. Or not vlogs, but series. Uh, the JHS Pedal show, I watch a lot of that. Um, uh, Wampler, I watch his stuff. And then YouTube recommends all sorts of other ones that are connected to the. Okay, after a long break, uh, because the battery I had in the camera died earlier when I was talking about all the YouTube, not all, but many of the YouTubers that I, I watch, I think, I think maybe I ended on uh, talking about beat em ups. I don't remember. Big fan of beat em ups. Um, I know I'd mentioned I watch a lot of ASMR people. Maybe one day I'll do a shout out to some of my faves so far. And yeah, it's one of the cool things about YouTube though, is it keeps, you know, it, it analyzes what you watch and especially things you go back to and watch over and over again. And it gives you recommendations. And there's continually new, uh, you know, channels, new YouTubers, and new content being made up. It's pretty cool. And it is, at least the stuff that most of us seem to be watching, it is, um, I mean, in my experience, I, maybe it's my little bubble I live in, but it's, you know, people like us who start off just average Joes or average Janes and uh, decide they want to make a YouTube channel. And and make it into something they can do to to earn their living and you know I do hope <clears throat> with for BKN understanding primarily the music um, gets me to a point that I don't have to do many different jobs to pay my bills but I could focus on the music um, I also have other endeavors I hope to come to fruition that might produce more money because of the state of the music industry um, but I hope that uh, BKN understanding grows enough that it can sustain itself and be justified financially uh, for the rest of my life. That's my goal um, because I really feel compelled to share the things within me, you know, and the music is a way to express those things uh, and to encourage other people on their journeys. And that's what BKN Understanding really overall is about. There, are, there will be criticisms in our art. That's part of uh, what I found, uh, part of the journey criticizing not criticizing as in like the negative context of uh, putting people down not that kind of criticizing but criticizing as in analyzing and contemplating the meaning of things and looking at the different parts and stuff <clears throat> that kind of criticizing but so some of the stuff maybe critical would be a better word some of the stuff we put out will be critical and on that note we, uh, I am working on new content, uh, getting it prepared uh, for our first studio album. And I'll give you more details and time on that, but uh, this next album will be a critical album. Um, it's a concept album. It's a much bigger and more uh, connected album than the previous two that are up now and a third that I hope to get up before we finish the studio album. However, already I'm finding that uh, the studio albums, again, is much more efficient and will yield a better quality product than the stuff that I've done myself over the past three years, actually four years now. And so I'm excited about it. <clears throat> and again, I'll tell you more about that soon. 
but I just want to get you up. So, you know, I uh, hadn't put up a vlog in a couple of weeks because one, Thanksgiving came, didn't have time or the space to do it because of things going on. And um, then I got sick with some kind of congestion stuff. No, it wasn't. It wasn't related to the current pandemic uh, virus going around. Um, I did get a booster shot, and that did give me a one night of a fever. But no, that was it had just sinus stuff. And this time of year, it's autumn, you know, and well now going into winter. And uh, you know, I tend to have sinus issues uh, here in Texas for whatever. It, maybe it, maybe it's just me. It may not be just be Texas, but living here in Texas this time of year. Uh, have really bad sinus issues, so I got sick and couldn't couldn't really talk, and definitely didn't feel motivated to make uh, make stuff. I did get more songs written, but couldn't track the demos for them last week due to losing my voice. Anyway, all that being said, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like this video. Please hit the notification bell. All that YouTube stuff that helps us out. Um, especially subscribe to the channel, please, and. Uh, encourage other people in your life that you think uh, can relate to the stuff we're doing and, and uh, who can appreciate I guess who I am. I'm the one who's primarily doing all this stuff. Um, and I'll talk more about uh, the state of Beacon and Shanning uh, soon um, and the lineup and all that. And um, oh please go to our Bandcamp page and check out our music. We would love it if you bought our albums from us or singles. You can buy it all together at once if you haven't bought any of it. Or if you have, you can get the rest of it, and when you do that, you get 20% off your total. Um, and I hope to put up more stuff soon. But you're also going to get the best quality, uh, sound quality, if you go to our Bandcamp, too. I noticed uh, on Spotify, uh, I went and I would listen to our stuff on Spotify to get more of an analysis of how good I mixed and how good, uh, well, Tim and I mixed and mastered stuff in the final products. And at some times I'd be really encouraged, other times I'd be really discouraged, but Spotify, in my opinion, has the worst quality of audio streaming um, from what I use. I, 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 I think when I did use Amazon like a long time ago, it was worse, but I would imagine Walmart's bad, but uh, I don't really use, I don't use, I try to use Amazon as little as I, I can, and I don't shop at Walmart, I don't use Walmart stuff. So for me, Spotify is the worst quality of streaming service. So Anyway, all that being said, uh, you know, you can find our stuff on whatever streaming platform you can, but please, if you can spare the money, support us by buying it on our Bandcamp page where you'll get the, the highest quality of audio files and streaming. And uh, anyway, thank you so much. Um, other than that, today I'm supposed to be getting a MXR uh, isolated power brick in the mail, and I will be putting that on my uh, homemade pedal board so I may film me uh, showing you guys my pedal board later on but that won't come up that will that'll probably be a day or two before that's ready to be posted so anyway stay tuned and uh, I'll give you more information on uh, the upcoming releases as uh, I can and when I go in the studio I'll try to get some behind the scenes footage and you know share that when I feel it's okay to do so and uh, and I'm excited about where things are going. I hope they continue to get better and grow as everyone you know, hopes to do. And again, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for the positive following. Um, those of you who genuinely support and who outweigh those who uh, stalk with ill intentions. Um, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Love you guys. BK, peace.